Okay, everyone, today we are headed into the Antique Mall of America. This is uh, on the south part of the Strip here in Las Vegas, and I'm looking for some vintage and antique Christmas, either ornaments, decor, stuff. So let's go inside and see what they have. Okay, so I found this booth that has a little bit of Christmas stuff. But I don't see a lot of Christmas stuff here in the booth so far. So we're going to keep looking and see if we can find Christmas stuff. They do have these cute little ornaments. All right, let me keep looking. There's a cute little Santa there. And then... I'm looking at this, um, I think that is a reverse Chinese art globe or something like that. I have one listed in my store. And then this is really cool, the um, Coca-Cola polar bear. It's like a glass figurine, very cool. All right, I found these really cute um, Anna Lee ornaments, and you can always tell the Anna Lee figures because they have such cute, expressive um, faces. So this one is sixteen dollars, and oh, the price on this one is twenty-eight dollars, but they're very cute. I don't think I'll be picking these up. They're a little bit out of my price range. All right, so look at this tree. It's got a lot of fun ornaments on it. I haven't seen too many um, vintage Christmas things, but there's a few sprinkled here and there. And then we've got this um, <laughs> cute little Grinch. And look at this bird, that's cute. But yeah, I haven't seen too much, so we're still looking. And they have these little light-up signs. Is that, well, I don't know what they're called. I guess a display or something like that. And there's the Santa. That's really cute. So they've got a lot of Santas. This one is a 1960s Santa. I think I had this candle years ago. Oh, this is a candle. Um, you can see it's got the wick up here, but... I think, oh no, I was going to say, I thought you could put a tea light in there. That's very interesting. So what I'm finding out is not too many booths have Christmas stuff. I mean, it's very few and far between. I didn't know these were tied together, but these are little eggnog mugs, and these are 
$50 for the set of seven. Candles. And they've got some, I think these are like vintage uh, recipe books. Very nice. All right, I just saw this jewelry tree. And I think I mentioned in one of my uh, jewelry jar videos that I wanted to make one of these. So this is very, very cool to see. I don't know if... Oh, okay. The price up there is... $85. And then they have this one here. Very pretty. And this one is $55. So these take a long time to make. And, um, you know, you need a lot of jewelry. Very cool. Now this booth has a very um, Victorian Christmas type of vibe going on. Uh, everything here is just so beautiful and it looks very um, antique obviously but there's definitely a Victorian feel and kind of with a combination of shabby chic as well. So um, these are, I think these are handmade trees. So you all know how much I love jewelry jars. This looks like a fun one. Uh, but they want $55 for it. And I don't know if everything in the jar is worth that. But I do like that. These salt and pepper shakers, those are very, very cool. I think I've seen this little guy at several thrift stores as well. This is a, <laughs> a Santa cookie jar, very cute, but like I said, I don't know if this is particularly vintage or antique. Like I said, I think I've seen it at uh, several thrift stores. All right, so I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me over the music, but there's a lot of cool stuff here. I don't know if all of it is vintage, but there's definitely some ornaments here that I think are really cool. This one says 1930, and this one is a little Santa, and then we have this cute little, <laughs> little snowman, so lots of fun things here. Oh, I really like this. I have a thing for trays. I don't know why I am so obsessed with them. I guess because you can just kind of, you know, put all your stuff on a tray. <laughs> It gives me the illusion of being organized. Now these are really, really cute. 
these look like uh, polymer polymer clay ornaments and I do like those however you have to be careful because they can break easily um, if they're not stored properly and I speak from experience on that oh these are vintage Santa taper candles and this is a little snow globe that has seen better days whoops let's put you back all right so lots of fun stuff cute stuff I still haven't really found what I'm looking for I was looking for some uh, vintage and antique ornaments but I haven't quite found them now this is cute I don't know if this if this works um, this is $24 but I don't know if you can plug it in to test it so or maybe it takes batteries I'm not sure but that looks like fun <laughs> look at these cute little um, angel napkin rings and then a very old very old Santa he's $12 oops Hold on. Santa is back where he belongs. Oh, very nice. This is a glass, um, what is it? A glass salad fork. That just feels luxurious. Oh, look at the ceramic Christmas trees. I love those. Now this white one is $135. I don't see a price on this one, um, but I have been looking for a vintage one of these for a long time. Oh, here's the price. This one is $50. I love it. Okay, this has nothing to do with Christmas, but this is a very interesting vase. Uh, you can see it's got like a little glass, hand-blown glass elephant. And then I guess you put the flower or whatever uh, in the top part. And I just thought this was very interesting. It's very thick and heavy, so you know it's well made, but this is so adorable. Um, Oh, it's a pig. <laughs> I thought it was an elephant. But that is very, very cute. Alright, so in this booth, they do have lots of little Christmas figurines. Um, I'm not sure if these are exactly vintage or antique, but they are from... <gasps> I found this little display <laughs> vignette of just really, um, I mean, I know it's antique, but just it just has this, uh, I don't know, this, Okay, so they have this whole upper level that I didn't even know existed. And the nice thing about this section is that it is, they don't have the music blasting, so <laughs> it's a lot quieter. But uh, they have this really fun display. And they've got all these characters here. So that's really cool. All right, something about this Santa is just funny to me. He's got a <laughs> really red face, and then he's 
all stuffed on the bottom. It's very cute. All right, so I found this display. I really like how old it looks. I know that might sound strange, but this is a snowman centerpiece for $49.95. All right, so back in this little room area, I'm finding a lot more uh, Christmas-specific, I guess, stuff. Lion ornament, $9. These cute little felt. Now this looks like an Annalie. Uh, this one is also $9. Some of these look handmade. Very cute. Now we've got some of these. Oh, so these ornaments are four dollars. Then we've got some of these. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> and they do have some people standing next to me very loud, so I don't know if you'll be able to hear that but I have some ornaments like these from the 90s and that's what these remind me of but mine were not this nice and it looks like a cute little is this a, oh I thought this was a nativity scene <laughs> I guess it's just Santa's maybe Santa's from around the world And we've got another cute little Santa here. Looks like a ceramic Santa. And then uh, some more stuff. Golden Knights. Uh, this is an ornament that lights up. And this looks like some uh, Golden Knights. Some stuff here in the back that looked kind of interesting. So these are just little figure. Oh, these are um, stocking hangers. Oh my gosh, I just read this. Vintage handcrafted horse hair Yorkie. Ooh, I don't know, that kind of weirds me out. Then we have this little M&M &M and some cute little stuffs stuffies down there. Mm -hmm. 